So we're here on uh, Lentau Island, which means a uh, big island mountain. And uh, we're in the Nong Ping cable car. It's a bike cable gondola lift, and it's actually it's operated by uh, the NTR Corporation. They run all the trains here in Hong Kong. <laughs> and this is going to be a 25 minute uh, journey from the town of Tung Chung to the tourist village of Nong Ping, uh, which links, Nong Ping links to uh, the Poland monastery, yeah, Buddhist yeah, monastery, yeah, and uh, uh, the statue of Big Buddha, which you can visit. You have to climb 268 steps to get to, but it's a really, really awesome place to go. So let's talk about the technical features of this cable car. Its, uh, its line length is 5,700 meters or 18,700 feet. It travels at 6 meters uh, per second or 20 feet a second. And it's supported by 8 towers. See, so we're coming to one of the towers. And let's talk about uh, this area of uh, Lantau. So today there's an airport on our right hand side and uh, over there we've got the town of uh, Tung Chung. Uh, but before, before that, Tung Chung was uh, a fishing village. Now the, the, the town that we've come from, Tung Chung, that uh, means eastern stream and uh, it's an area on the north western coast of Lantau Island and it's one of the most recent towns to be developed. Uh, in the past it was an important stronghold against pirates and, pirates and foreign military um, during the Ming and Qing dynasties. In fact, uh, if, you, if you explore the island of Tung Chung you can still see some of the forts and cannons that protect the bay here. Now it is uh, pretty much like a, a very new town but its heritage, it's got an old heritage in the form of old fishing village, village villages and uh, we'll be able to see the, some of the remaining fishing villages as we go over the bay now. So, since the late 20th century, construction of the Tung Chung New Town uh, down there started, and um, they've completed several major infrastructure projects, which I'll tell you a little bit more about. Um, but the amazing thing about being in Lantau Island here is that. Um, it's surrounded by two large country parks, which cover an area of, um, which will cover about like 50% of Lantau Island. The one is the North, Lantau North, and then the Lantau South country park. So that covers 50% of Lantau Island. And then the other unique thing about being here is that uh, Now you can't see it on the tide right now, but uh, is the presence of mangroves and freshwater streams uh, in Tung Chung. And so this habitat here, you can sort of see it if I zoom in. It's high tide now. It's a, it's a great, um, it's an excellent uh, ecological space uh, for freshwater fish species, dragonflies, and rare amphibians. So let's talk about Lantau, the island we're on right now. It has a land mass of 147 square meters. That's about 56.82 square miles. And it's the largest island in Hong Kong. 
It's almost twice the size of Hong Kong Island, and it's primarily consists primarily consists of mountainous terrain. The highest peak is Lantau Peak, that's 934 meters or 3,064 feet, and that's the highest point on Lantau Island. Uh, e uh, even though it's one of the most uh, the, well, it's the biggest island here in Hong Kong. It actually has the lowest population density. Now, Hong Kong is known to be uh, one of the most densely populated places in the world, but this island is uh, has a very low population density, and that's because of the mountainous terrain. You can see it here. Oh, Trisha, you can download a uh, postcard button. It's a video on my YouTube. Uh, so maybe after the tour, just. Uh, Go to go to that video and then you come back and, and get uh, postcards. There's a way to do it. Now there are a bunch of uh, pla place tourist places you can visit. That's why you can come. You would want to come to um, Lantau Island. And uh, well, the first the first place, of course, is uh, when you arrive in Hong Kong. Is the airport there? It is. We're going to get a better view of it later on. This is the Hong Kong airport. And then now it's, it's obscured by the mountain now, but um, there's a place called Tai O Fishing Village. Uh, located in the northwest of Lanta Island, which uh, is more than it's, this town is more than three centuries old, and the reason why people visit Taiyo is because they have these houses uh, built on stilts uh, in the the river that goes into the ocean, and uh, it's just like a <coughs> old part of Hong Kong that. Uh, you don't see very much and uh, you can try traditional Chinese food like salted fish and locally produced shrimp paste so that's one of the tourist attractions the other tourist attraction is of course on this island is Hong Kong Disneyland now we can't see Hong Kong Disneyland from where we are because it's on the other side of Lantau uh, but uh, Hong Kong Disneyland opened on the 12th of September 2005 in a massive land reclamation project and uh, yeah that's also here on Lantau Island. Also here is uh, on the other side of Lantau is the Trappist Haven Monastery. Um, home to a number of Roman Catholic monks uh, that sits on the east coast of Lanta Island and uh, that congregation was established uh, in the 19th century and then of course we own the cable car right now and the cable car is going to take us to Big Buddha and the Poland Monastery, which I'll tell you a little bit more about as we get closer. Now, one of the big, uh, so there have been many big construction projects, but one of the biggest has uh, been the, the airport. Uh, which we see over here. So the airport was actually a built. It's it's the it looks, well it's, um, It opened on uh, July the sixth, nineteen ninety eight. Oh, I want to show you below us. This is the great thing about taking a crystal cabin. You can see the trees below us. So we've got a glass floor. So grab a postcard 
of that. Now you can see there's a hiking trail mm. over there. There's, you can, if you don't want to take the cable car, you can hike all the way to Big Widow and the monastery. Uh, and it's a beautiful shaded hike, lots of trees. And uh, if you're coming here to the cable car, definitely take an option to get, get in one of these crystal cabins. Gives you the opportunity to uh, have this glass bottom floor, which is pretty, pretty insane. Yeah, so let's we'll talk about the airport, I guess. So the connection does drop here, but where I will upload the rest of the tour later. So, uh, Lantau is known as the, the lungs of Hong Kong. You can see why, there are just so many trees. Yeah, the glass is awesome. view of the uh, airport. So this is, um, Hong Kong is home to the world's largest passion passenger uh, t um, terminal buildings and it's a, a primary hub for Cathay Pacific. Now the airport is actually built on two uh, large artificial, uh, or two islands that were flattened um, to create this massive island. So the two islands that were flattened and then the seabed in between the two islands was filled in and reclaimed. And the project was one of the most expensive airport projects ever according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The link for me, I, I've had a problem connecting to my own links. The project is the most expensive airport project ever and um, was voted as one of the top 10 construction achievements of the 20th century. Uh, more recently, there's a third one way with its own dedicated passenger concourse that was built parallel to the current two runways on reclaimed land directly north of the existing airport and that um, started operating in July 2022. So there's the airport. Uh, Hong Kong used to have the most dangerous airport in the world. Not anymore. They learned the lessons from the previous airport and uh, now the airport is located in an area that's not very densely populated. state bridges, an undersea tunnel, four artificial islands, and it is both the longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fixed link in the world. And it connects uh, three cities, it connects Hong Kong, and then uh, Macau, former Portuguese territory, that's now a special ad administrative region like Hong Kong, and then the Chinese uh, city of Zhuhai. Uh, and they're all separated by the uh, Pearl River Delta and so previously it was very difficult to, to get between the three of them and 
this land tile like the uh, not, not the land tile like the this Hong Kong too high my car bridge is made it's easy and uh, very short too you can see a picture of that bridge and we'll hopefully be able to see it out the window as we turn uh, that bridge is has been designed to last 120 years and it cost 18.8 US dollars to build. It opened on the 24th of October 2018 to the public. Now, as we get into the. Uh, oh, Trisha says, I've been on the Paul Delta River. It was stunning. Evening. Yeah. So, the Paul River Delta. Uh, comes from the south from China and then feeds into the ocean where Hong Kong and Macau are. So you can see it's a little bit misty today but I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna turn and say oh there we can see the bridge. You can see the bridge even though it is a little bit misty we may still be able to see the bridge. Can you see it? There you can see it's disappearing. Oh, that's what happened. There we go, it's disappearing into the mist. That is one of the longest bridges in the world. So, thank you, Neil. So, wow, isn't it cool to be able to see it like that? There you can see it going under water. Now, it is a bit misty here, but not too misty, so we're able to see. And the mist actually adds some atmosphere to this amazing cable car journey. Now I'm going to tell you about what, what we can see here. Uh, yeah, so big. We're gonna we're coming to Big Buddha. B big Buddha is a large bronze statue, completed in 1993. It's like uh, and uh, situated near the Poland Monastery, and uh, the Buddha symbolizes the harmonious, well, harmonious relation, harmonious relationship between man and nature, people and faith, and it's a major center of Buddhism in Hong Kong. Uh, now sometimes we can get a, a, a little glimpse of it. I'm going to turn around to show you that bridge one more time. Would you go in that? Well, and, I, and we may, we can actually, if we look on our... That side, you can see the, the that orange roof. That's the Poland monastery, and uh, that one's for maintenance purposes. Oh, we're really lucky today with uh, the is mist, but it's, it's adding a little bit of uh, magic. be able to see a big Buddha, but uh, he's, uh, he's on one of the peaks and he's uh, 34 meters high or 112 feet and he was completed on the 29th of January 1993 and he weighs over 250 metric tons or 280 short tons and was constructed out of 202 bronze pieces. Hey, Lun, yeah. I've got a special crystal cabin today so we can look underneath our feet. Really, really cool. Definitely we're still here. We've got a nice side view again of the Hong Kong Macau Sioux High Bridge. Getting a little bit misty, but there you get a real sense of the scale of one of the biggest bridges in the world. Here we are yeah. at the Nong Ping 
village. This has been a 25 minute cable car ride and uh, actually if I turn around now you can, you can see big buddies. It's, it's a little bit misty over there and uh, so you can't see the top of him but he is there. Here we are. <laughs> so here we are. There you got it. So I'm going to come back on another day when the weather's a little bit better and we'll go see Big Buddha and uh, go to the monastery. How do you get down? You just take the cable car back or you take a bus? I recommend taking the cable car, it's the quickest way. <laughs>